Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today, I got my first hate comment slash message and this video is a response to that. I received a DM on Instagram from a random account, like someone who didn't follow me but who must have found me either on YouTube or on TikTok or seen my Instagram profile through whatever and normally I don't check like the random messages that people will send because like you get a lot of like spam but it was an account that was a private account and had a couple hundred followers some posts it was evidently like a, someone's personal account it was basically just someone who was having a bad day taking it out on me saying that I'm cringy for starting a YouTube channel at 26 and I'm too old and it really made me giggle because to me, comments and messages like that are so like early YouTube. Like I've been watching YouTube since 2012, 2011. And like, I only really started watching equestrian YouTube back in like, I found a few channels in like 2017, but it was really only 2018, 2019 that I started watching equestrian YouTube. And this person was basically, I, I didn't even respond. I blocked them immediately, deleted the message because I didn't need that kind of rudeness in my life like they weren't being super super mean they were just being like immature they were just basically saying that i was cringe basically it really made me laugh because a few weeks ago taylor swift delivered a commencement speech at nyu and i'm a huge swifty like a huge 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 taylor swift fan i have been since her first album and one of the things that she talked about in that commencement speech was like how things that you do you'll look back on and find them to be cringy and that people who don't understand what you're trying to do or who look down on what you're, any sort of endeavor that you embark upon might think of it as cringy, but that the definition of cringy is just being super passionate and excited about the things that you're trying and the things that you're doing. And that's exactly what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. I started it as a way to track my journey with Merlin to make some memories because I had so much footage that I had taken of like training sessions and stuff over the last two years that I was like, it's just sitting here. I have hours and hours of footage that's just sitting here. I'm not going back and watching, you know, a 30 minute positive reinforcement session. So why don't I make videos out of it? And I started to do it and I'm absolutely loving it. Like it's become such a fun part of my life that I'm not gonna stop. This experience is encouraging me to learn new skills and try new things. That person sending me that really stupid message on Instagram evidently didn't want me making videos. So my response is that I'm going to make a video. So this is gonna be, hopefully, I say that, and if you watch my videos, you know that I ramble. I'm already on my second five minute clip because I don't know how to shut up. I haven't done positive reinf like like pure positive reinforcement sort of like trick fun training with Merlin in probably about a month because I've been so focused on his under saddle training. So I'm gonna go up to the barn tonight and I'm gonna kind of get back to my roots with Merlin and just have fun with him. And I thought that I would include like a full or almost full positive reinforcement session so that you can get an idea of what I do in positive reinforcement sessions on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not working on a particular skill. So today, because he hasn't done it in quite a while, it'll probably be more of a review session than anything else. So I'll go over most of the different behaviors that he's learned thus far, play around with some target training, and I might try to get him to do some things like trotting over a raised pole at Liberty or something like that. We will see. It all depends on how willing he is and if he wants to work or not. If he just wants to let loose in the arena, have a couple bucks and go in, that's completely fine. So I'm going to drive out to the farm and I will see you once Merlin and I get into the arena. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on So I was gonna continue this video out in the arena but I just came to bring Merlin in and just got to taking some little clips of the beauty 
that surrounds his paddock and area. This place is like one of my favorite places on earth. It's just so beautiful. We've got the mountains nearby, lush green fields. It's nights like this when I'm just sort of out hanging out with him that I realize how lucky I am to live where I do and to have him here. It's just such a beautiful place. So yeah, I just wanted to comment on how on a day like this where I've gotten a message and a comment that wasn't so nice, even though it didn't really bother me, like it really, it was really like immature and it wasn't like something that hit at any of my insecurities, if that makes sense. I'm appreciative of the beauty that surrounds me whenever I come to the farm. So I hope you enjoyed that little montage and now let's get to the training session. So generally before I start a positive reinforcement session, I let him loose just to get any beans out if he has any and he's currently very interested by the horses in the paddock next to the arena so I'm gonna let him just investigate because the last thing I want happening is for him to have any sort of explosion or anything like that while we're working and of course he's eating oh my god you are you are something else Merlin you really are Maybe I'll be better when we're old enough Hey, I'm sorry for dreaming about the future Hey, I'm sorry, do you think we're old enough? Evidently, he's he's not too worried because we're just having snacks. Come on. So he's investigating the horses on the other side of the arena, and I'm just gonna let him keep doing that. He's not like exploding or anything. There's two more horses in the paddock on the opposite side than he's normally used to. So I'm just letting him explore. He's sort of trotting back and forth along the fence line. If he wants to work, great. If not, I'll just let him explore. He's having a munch on some of the trees outside of the arena, so he's evidently not too stressed. That's what this is sort of about, is just letting him have, like just hanging out with him and having some chill time and maybe doing a little bit of work, but he's mostly just staring at the other horses. It's kind of funny. One of those horses is his mom. Look how hunky my pony is. Hi. Do you wanna work? No. He wasn't showing any interest in working at all. So I took my camera out to try to get some nice pictures of him because he was standing very, <laughs> there we go, standing very alert and pretty like that. And of course, as soon as I get my camera out, he's back to this. <laughs> so I think we might try a little bit of a refresher. It'll probably be filmed on my phone because just in case he would get loose or knock my camera over, I don't really feel like throwing a thousand dollars down the drain. So I'm going to switch over to my phone. <laughs> oh my God, you're so goofy.
Oh my goodness, you just, you are now big. like everything I asked him to do on the first try I could do more with him but he hasn't done positive reinforcement in like a month so I'm gonna leave it there so something I evidently need to start working on when we're doing positive reinforcement sessions is getting him to stay so not following my every move and refusing to leave my presence. Being with me is a very reinforcing place to be because when he's with me, he gets treats, as you can see. But I need to start working on a signal where he stands and I can walk away, starting with very low duration because he will not have patience for more than a couple of seconds, likely, and we'll build up from there. So it's in doing refresher sessions like this after a bit of time off that Merlin, oh my god. It's in doing refresher sessions like this after a bit of time off that I can see what we need to work on. I'm so impressed that he remembered basically everything I asked him to do. Before we took a break, he was having a bit of trouble with hip targeting for whatever reason, and he just did it first time both ways. Who knows? Sometimes a bit of time off is a good thing. Hey. Eh? Hi. Hi, sir. Yes. Are you my camel? Yes. So I'm going to leave this video here. I just wanted to show you guys what a positive reinforcement session might look like sometimes. So that was a really short one. It was only about five minutes. Um, normally I would do 10 to 15, sometimes 20 minutes, depending on what we're working on. But because it was his first one back after a while, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Not ask anything new. If you enjoyed this video, and are interested in seeing more, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe if you're interested. Hopefully this was a fairly short and sweet one from the dude and I. Have a wonderful evening wherever you are. Don't forget to hug your pony and give them a kiss. And we will see you next time. Say bye. You say bye. Bye. Honestly, Merlin. <laughs>